Well, to, to try to answer your question, I, I first have to get some sense of, uh, of how you define talky. I mean, in, the, in a very real way, some of the greatest stories ever told are extremely talky. They're like 90% talk and 10% uh, visual action or doing. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Edward Albee's uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf is four characters in a living room talking for three hours. Uh, Eugene O'Neill's A Long Day's Journey and Tonight is four characters sitting in the living room talking for four hours. Um, but the talk, of course, is, is brilliant. And what's at stake in these people's lives isn't life and death. I mean, in, um, in uh, both of these uh, uh, stories are love stories. One, a family love story. A uh, Long Day's Journey and Tonight is about the love between uh, four very uh, troubled people in a family. And what's at stake, of course, is the, is the, the, the family itself and, and the, the futures of these, uh, these characters as, as they go through um, uh, this desperate struggle. Str- uh, struggle. Uh, the mother's a, a drug addict, the father's a, uh, uh, <coughs> a cheap skate who's, who won't um, um, get uh, sufficient um, medical care for a son who's got tuberculosis. I mean, there's... There's some, um, and, and, and they all have very good reasons for hating each other, and yet they're trying to hang on to their the love within their family. In um, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf is a magnificent love story about a husband and wife who have a dark secret about an imaginary son that they've created, a child they've never had, but um, she, Martha, has come to believe in this child's existence so, um, so realistically so deeply that she's become delusional, and over the course of the of the play, her husband George has to finally expose her delusion, at the risk of um, of losing her um, to madness, to who knows what, when he finally does. And so there's tremendous um, uh, uh, risk at stake in these stories. And so uh, it's a um, it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a matter of of, of building up the context of these characters' lives and putting at risk uh, their humanity in such a way it doesn't have to be a simple life-and-death uh, melodrama. Um, and then they will talk. And what the, the, the dialogue will be is their effort, moment by moment, to try to, in one case, uh, save a wife uh, from her delusions, um, in another case, to save a family from um, imploding and destroying the individuals in the family. Uh, and um, and uh, the, the talk, then, is action. I think, I think, I think to, to help you um, with this question, the, the best way I can define, uh, define uh, the difference between good talk, dialogue that's effective, and talky is action. The key to understanding dialogue, as I've, I've written in um, my little booklet on dialogue, is the first step is to understand that dialogue is action. When people are saying something, they're doing something. And it's what they're doing underneath what they're saying that is driving the scene. In that case, the talk is action. Talky, I think what you mean by talky, is, um, is dialogue in which nothing is happening. They're not doing anything. And uh, it's there, perhaps, just to, um, to uh, fill in the backstory exposition for the reader or for the audience, or to create some kind of um, a super-realism of conversational uh, yakking uh, in an effort to make it seem all very naturalistic, and in which case, in both cases, uh, nothing is actually happening. Uh, the only, um, therefore, the only advice that I can I can give you is to look at what you feel is talky dialogue in your own writing and ask the question underneath this verbiage, what is this character or these characters actually doing? What does the character want? How does the character uh, try to go about getting it? And what uh, happens in reaction to them that stops them from getting what they want? And so look at desire. Pose desires within the scene. What does character A want? What does character B want? How are these desires in conflict? Then what is character A doing in an effort to get what character A wants? How is character B reacting to that and doing what they're doing in an effort to get what they want? 
and, and underneath this talk, what is the real action that they're taking? Um, are they insulting? Are they bribing? Are they flattering? Are they um, manipulating in some fashion? What is really going on? And once you can answer those questions, what do they want and how are they going about trying to get it and what's stopping them when they do, and you see through that dialogue to the real actions in the scene, it won't be talky anymore. It'll be drama.